Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I want to teach you how you can correctly read crypto charts and how you can effectively use different tools that are available on the charts. The platform that I'm going to use in this video is TradingView because many of the crypto exchanges use TradingView charts on their platform or they have charts that are very similar to TradingView. This is a complete beginner's guide and we're going to discuss every details that you see on the price charts. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. When you open price chart of a coin on TradingView, this is what you see. In the middle, we have the chart. In the left side, we have a toolbox. Here in the top, we have also a toolbar. And also here in the right, we have another toolbar. And here below the chart, we have a status bar and a menu bar, as you can see. I'll explain every detail that you see here on this chart so you will learn how to read and work with different tools and parts of this chart. Here in the top left we have settings that you can change them based on your preferences we are already on a layout which is unnamed and you can give it a name here by clicking on rename let me cancel this and get back to the settings as you can see the auto save is on and you can turn it off if you like to save your layout manually you can have different layouts here in the new layout and you can access all your layouts here and load them if you want let me close this and here you will have profile settings, help center and other social activities on trading view. Here you can switch to dark mode and here you can turn off drawings panel, the tools that you see here. You can change the language here and here you can learn the keyboard shortcuts. TradingView has recently released a desktop app and you can download it from here and here you can sign out. All right, now let's begin with the chart. Here in this area, it shows what coin is selected, actually what coin this price chart is representing. As you can see, it's BTC USDT, Bitcoin to Tether. So this is the price chart of Bitcoin in terms of USDT. If you click on this, you can choose another coin. Actually here you can also select another market, stock, futures, forex, crypto, indices, and whatever asset or pair that you want to see its price chart, you can choose from here. In this video, we focus on crypto. So let's search another pair like uh, ETH USDT. And even here you can select the exchange that you want your chart data to be uh, received from that exchange. Let's select Binance and here it is. This is the price chart of Ethereum in terms of Tether. So here you can access to any pair that you want to analyze simply by typing the name and selecting your desired exchange and having its price chart. Here you can change the time frame of your chart. Right now it's one day, which means that this horizontal line here, which represents the time, is divided day by day. You can choose time frames from one minute to one month. For example, if we select four hours, the X axis is divided every four hours. Actually, for every four hours, we have a candle. This is a candlestick chart. We have different types of charts. And here is the list of different types of charts that you can choose. Among these charts, the line chart and candlestick charts are the most commonly used ones. And between these two, candlestick chart is by far the most popular and common one among traders. But each of them has their use cases. I have a video on this about the differences between candlestick charts and line charts and advantages and disadvantages of each one. I also put the link in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch it later so you better understand the differences and their use cases. All right, now let me explain how we read this chart. As I've already explained, the X axis shows the time, which is divided based on the time frame that you choose here. For example, the time frame that I selected is four hours. So the X axis is divided every four hours, which means that we have a point here on the X axis every four hours. And the Y axis shows the price, with the current price usually highlighted on most of trading platforms platforms and in the middle of the chart we have some graphical objects that look like candlesticks this is a candlestick chart if we change to line chart for example 
for every point on the x-axis, which is every four hours, we have a point on the y-axis, which shows the closing price at the end of the four hours. And these points are connected to each other, as you can see. If we change to one day, for example, for every day, the closing price at the end of the day is represented as a point and they are connected to each other. For every day, you can simply read the closing price by placing your cursor on the point and reading the corresponding price. You don't have to place your cursor on the point and simply when you move horizontally day by day, here it shows the price, the closing price of that day and also the amount and percentage of changes. Let's switch to candlestick chart. Here also the story is the same. The time frame is one day. So for every day, instead of a point, we have a candle. Each candle gives you four pieces of information. Opening price, closing price, highest price, and lowest price. For example, here the time frame is one day. So each candle shows the opening price, the price that the day started with that price, the closing price, the price at the end of the day, which was actually the last price traded in that day, and the highest price, and the lowest price that was reached during the day. When you move on the x-axis day by day and stop on each day, these informations are also shown here alongside with the amount and percentage of changes. And please pay attention that when you place your cursor on the last candle or after that, here it shows the current day information. But before that, for every day that you point out, the information shown here is for that day. When when the closing price of a candle is higher than the opening price, the candle is green and when the closing price is lower than the opening price, the candle is red. Each part of the candle has a name and based on the different length of the parts or combination of two or more candles together, they can provide you valuable information about the market. I have a video on this and there I completely explain how to analyze candlestick charts. The link is also in the description of this video and I highly recommend you to watch it later so you learn how to analyze the behavior of market participants by the help of candlesticks and candlestick patterns. All right, let's get back to our chart here by clicking on compare. You can add other assets, pairs, or even indices to compare it to the Bitcoin chart. For example, let's add Dow Jones index and here it is. You can simply remove it from here by clicking on remove or let's compare for example uh, Bitcoin with uh, ETH USDT. Here it is. Please pay attention that when you click on same percentage scale, it's drawn based on percentage based percentage of changes. And here you can see that it shows percentage of changes, not prices. And uh, if we click on new price scale, it's drawn based on price. And here in the left, we have prices for Ethereum. Let me remove this. And if we click on new pane, it's drawn separately here below the chart. All right, let me close this. Here by clicking on FX indicators, you can access to indicators, strategies, and scripts and add them to your chart. Here you can create your own script. Here the built-in strategies and indicators, the ones that TradingView has added them. And here the community scripts, the ones that other traders created and shared. Any indicator that you want to add to your chart, simply search the name. For example, let's search MACD. This is the built-in MACD indicator and a strategy. And these are the community scripts based on MACD that are shared by other traders. We want to add the indicator, so we click on this. And here it is. For another example, let's add uh, volume. We want this volume. And here it is, it's shown here. If you want to remove them from your chart for the ones that are separately added below the chart, here click on the remove 
and the ones that are overlaid on the chart they are listed here and you can remove them simply by clicking on remove here by clicking on financials you can add some fundamental metrics and ratios to your chart but these are for stock market and not applicable to crypto market maybe in the future they add some fundamental metrics and ratios that are related to crypto market uh, here in the templates you can save indicator template for example you added some indicators and you want to save it and load it later there are also some default templates that you can choose for example let's choose volume based and you can see that some volume based indicators are added here below the chart here in the alert you can set alert for BTC USDT. There are different conditions you can choose. For example, when the price is greater than here, you set the value. You can also give it expiration time and you can also choose the alert actions, the way you're interested to receive the alerts. This is a very useful feature of TradingView. Here we have replay which is useful when backtesting strategies. For example, uh, you can choose a starting point and by clicking on this candle a vertical line shows up and you select where you want to start and then by clicking play button it starts to move and you can also increase the speed of the movement you can decrease it or you can increase the speed by the help of this slider all right let's exit the replay mode and here we go when you add something to your chart for example let's add MACD here we have undo and redo buttons and simply by clicking on them you can go forward or back through your changes you can also simply use your keyboard Control z and Control y or command instead of control on mac computers here it also shows that our layout is unnamed and we have some settings here which we had also this here in the settings if you remember here we have some settings for appearance and other elements of the chart and you can change them based on your preferences here by clicking on this you go to full screen mode and simply by the help of escape on your keyboard you can exit here you can save an image of your chart in your computer or open the picture in a new tab on your browser or even you can directly tweet it from here and here you can publish your ideas in the form of picture or video and share it with your followers here below the chart you can access to different time zones and you can set the time zone based on the country you live or any other zones that you prefer and here we have three options for the way that y-axis is scaled and shown auto is already selected if we select percentage it will be scaled based on percentage as you can see and if we select log it will be scaled logarithmically this is useful in long time frames when the price has moved sharply or it's increased exponentially so changing to log scaling may better describe the price action for you in this context if I turn off the log you can see that this part of the chart that the price has moved exponentially or this part that the price declined sharply are shown in a very sharp movements but when we change to log scaling you can see that the log scaling can better describe the price action in this context all right uh, in the left side of the chart we have a toolbox here we have some tools for drawing and working with the chart I just explore them very shortly and then you you must practice with these tools to see which of them suit your needs for trading here you can change your cursor and here we have various tools for drawing lines for example if you want to draw a trend line by the help of this you can simply draw your line like this when the cursor is selected click on the line and now you have some settings to change the line for example you can change the color the line width type of the line and some other settings and you can remove the line by the help of this remove button or simply by the help of the delete button on your keyboard 
Here uh, we have some tools for drawing parallel lines, circular lines, or other forms which are based on specific formulas. And when you draw them, you need to know how to analyze them. For example, by the help of this tool, you can uh, draw Fibonacci retracement levels, which is very popular for trading. I have a video on this and there I completely explain how these levels can be used for trading. The link is also in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch it later to learn how to use Fibonacci levels for trading. Let me remove this. Here we have brush, highlighter and some other shapes for drawing on the chart. Here by the help of these tools you can add texts, notes, callouts or arrows to your chart. These are useful when you are analyzing the chart. Here, by the help of these tools, you can add patterns like head and shoulders, Elliott waves, or some other patterns that are useful when you're analyzing the price action and you identify some patterns on the chart. Here, we have some tools that can be useful when you're placing positions. And here, a lot of shapes that you can add to your chart. Here we have measure tool, which is very useful. For example, you can uh, measure a movement simply like this, and it gives you information about how much was the change, the percentage of change, how many candles, and how much was the volume in this period. And here we have zoom tool that helps you to instantly zoom on a point like this. And by clicking on zoom out, it gets back to the previous condition. Here, if you turn on the magnet mode, it snaps drawings near the open, close, high and low of the candles. Here, if you turn this on, you stay in drawing mode. Here, you can lock all the drawing tools. And here, you can hide your drawings, your indicators, or both of them that you added to your chart. And similarly, here, you can remove them. Here in the right side of the chart, we have also a toolbar providing you some tools not directly related to the chart, but they can be helpful for trading. For example, here you can have a watch list and add your favorite symbols to monitor them quickly. And here for the symbol that is already uh, selected, we have some useful information that you can use when analyzing the market. Here you can create an alert. We had this function function also here. Here you can review the headlines and news for the coin you've already selected. Here it provides you a data window. Actually the data you see on the chart is shown and categorized here. Hot lists, financial calendars, your ideas you published, public chats, private chats, streams, notifications and other stuff that you can review them later. I've already explained everything that you need for reading and working with the charts and now you must practice as much as you can so you develop the skills to effectively read and analyze the charts. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you found any value in this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.